Hello everyone, aloha. So here we have it, my finished product, the Vertical Grow Tower. Oh, I probably should say Grow Tower. Uh, vertical Vegetable Garden that I have here. Uh, I finally planted some seedlings, well not seedlings, small plants that I got from the nursery. And this is what I have, the top layer here has all tomato seedlings. These are seedlings that I grew from seed myself and I don't know how fair but uh, we'll see what it could do later on in the next few weeks. And here I have sugar sprint, uh, beans, uh, chard, and then down here I have spinach. And they are all around <coughs> The grow tower here right there on top I have uh, cilantro chamomile chives stevia a marigold and I know I have another one somewhere here okay these are Chard, chard. Uh, oh, here you go. Ghost peppers, my favorite. But unfortunately, some animal came around and took a chomp out of the topmost part of the plant. So, uh, these are definitely older plants that I had shoved in there. So, although this vertical grow tower took me a while to get to, um, together, I think the hardest part for me was getting the legs on. Uh, I had a couple of fails with the legs and I had to rethink the design and so this is what works so far and it may look unstable to some of you um, construction people out there uh, but what I have here is a bolt and on the inside there is a washer to hold the, um, the, the bolt in okay so that it doesn't slip through the plastic uh, container um, under stress. Uh, another thing I found out uh, after planting these plants, I noticed that some of these slots were getting, uh, they're starting to close and I think what happens when the sun comes through and heats up the barrel, the plastic may have like a memory and start to go back to its original form a little bit. Um, I have no problems with these. <clears throat> But as you can see, uh, this one here, I had a prop with a rock <laughs> to gap it because I was afraid it was like practically like a half inch closed on the plant and I didn't want to strangle the plant of course and so the ones that I was concerned with the plastic slots closing I, I shoved rocks in there and they seem to be working. I said this one is a little loose, I'm going to push that, I'm going to push this one in. There we go. I'll just do that for now. Uh, looks like it's maintaining its form finally, but uh, yeah, that was the only complication I had because uh, in the videos, other videos, I see people making these uh, vertical towers. However, I don't recall seeing them with plants in it. They just showed what they were able to do with the product um, with the grow tower, uh, but I've never seen anything planted in it. Um, also, so so that was a concern. These slots can get heated by the sun and start to close a little bit. So you have to find some other alternative method to keep it open. In my case, I just shoved, like I said, a rock. Uh, this whole grow tower here uh, holds eight plants on each level, with the exception of these by the legs. Uh, it holds a six. So total here, total here in this body. Uh, 8 times 3 is 24 plus 6 makes 30. 30 plants all around. And then at the top, I was able to put five. Five plants. So this whole grow tower in a matter of what? Three feet, four feet of space, vertical space, took 35 plants. So now I am going to show you how to how I put together this third compost bin. I had other videos where I showed how to make 
this compost bin right here with a drainage pipe and that is in a um, just a typical garden but this one here there is also a compost bin in my vertical grow tower all right so to start off uh, before I forget I'm gonna take this off it's just a cap that I kept from some miscellaneous project and I figured it was great to have on top of here it helps to keep the bugs out and dirt uh, especially when I start dumping food in there like uh, kitchen scraps and so right now I have to make my compost bin um, I do have compost that I'm gonna be dumping uh, there's some coffee grounds here and um, my veggie scraps sort of gross but uh, paper uh, avocado tea bags bread as you can see and um, uh, vegetables and fruit fruit remains uh, and here is my my box of worms these are the uh, red compost worms that I got from Uncle Jim's um, worm farm and uh, let's go see if I could wake some of them up. Oh, there's one. Oh, and he's running. Come on, little guy. Right there. He's asleep. That one's asleep. Yep, there he goes. And uh, there's like 250 of them in here. And I'm going to have to dump them into the, the drainage pipe. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so I like to start off by putting in compost first into the drainage pipe, and then I'll put uh, the vegetables and food scraps and whatnot, okay? using a kitchen tool here just to get all this um, spooned out of the container here make it easier to put inside the drain <laughs> okay so like I said there's banana there's watermelon rinds I have tea bags in here um, stems uh, pieces of bread onion skins, fruit. I don't put meat in here uh, because I don't want it to attract any other rodents. <clears throat> and um, I don't put bone in here because you can't really break down bone, not, not in this thing at least. And uh, what else do I put in here? Oh, you could put um, pieces of scrap paper in there. It's best if you tear it, um, tear it in small pieces. Oh, and also avocado, avocado shells. I don't put the big seeds in there because I think it's going to take longer to break down again. And then uh, put more of this in. Uh, old grapes. Uh, and even the juice. I'll put the juice in too. Do that. Yeah. Okay. And got some leaves. Put that in there. It's best to crunch up the leaves. Make it small, just like this. Okay. Again, more surface area to break down into nitro nitrogen and easier for the, the worms to handle. Put that in. Okay. Just like that. And then. I put some more in there. And then some coffee grounds. Coffee grounds that look like that. I even have uh, the lining, the filter, the coffee filters. All right, right there. I think I'm gonna 
dumped out more uh, compost in there. Ooh. And then for my my worms. Okay, I should probably get the gloves on. All right, let's go see. Let's just shake it out like this. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay, I see one. There's one of, ooh, he's a little, a little feisty. This, I'm gonna pick this one up and he's probably gonna like do the, do the twist and shout. See that? There you go. That's wormy. Here's another one. Oh, <laughs> here's another one. I, oh, okay, he, he, he is alive. All right. Let's go put them in. Hmm. Maybe I'll, do, maybe I'll do it by the handfuls here. Hey guys. In your hole. Ugh. All right. Oh my God. Oh, again. I don't know why they like to ball up like this. Can you see? And of course the birds are checking me out. They want the worms, but uh, they do like to ball up. Here's another group of them. But then again, you know, they're known for making earthworm eggs like within like every day or two. So who knows what they're doing, right? So, right? Yeah. Okay, I better stop. <laughs> stop playing with the, with the dirt before I lose all my worms. Hey guys, you gotta do your job. Put you in. There we go. Put you in. Have fun in the hole. And, woohoo. Try not to hurt them. I don't know if there's a better way to get them in there, but um, this is what I'm doing. dumping all these in because I just don't know they're so similar in color with the dirt that I don't know if they're worms or not but I'm gonna have to dump all of them in here to make sure I got every single one of them in there and okay here we go put it in this way all right all right almost in there I guess even if they fall out of the tube onto the soil um, below, under the tube, that's fine. All right. Yay! Now I got garden, gardener's thumb. The green thumb, right? Gardener's fingers. All right. And then I'm gonna put more leaves on top. There we go. That one's done. And then also the last of my food scraps. Yeah. So that one's there. And again, uh, more coffee grounds. It's good to top it with um, coffee grounds and also the compost so that the smells don't get out to the other animals uh, to try and enter the drainage tube to start making a big mess. Okay, so then I have my shower cap. 
<laughs> uh, it's not really a shower cap, but it's just something that I figure I could use and I'm using it for this purpose to put a cap over my drainage pipe. There we have it. All right, so I completed uh, filling this drainage pipe with compost, coffee grounds, leaves, worms, kitchen scraps, and um, did it again as an extra layer uh, just to keep uh, the animals out from trying to get to the worms or any of the vegetable scraps. So I, I topped the vegetable scraps with coffee grounds and leaves and more compost so the smell doesn't get out and then put a cap over it. So. So I'd like to say thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. I will have plenty of other videos, crazy or not, posted on YouTube. So have a great day and please a thumbs up. Ciao.